Now to one of the most influential names in entertainment, Mr. Bill Cosby. His many achievements in the business, including creating and starring in The Cosby Show, the award-winning sitcom that highlighted messages of family, love, and education. And he's passing on similar messages on a new hip-hop album called Bill Cosby Presents The Cosnerati State of Emergency. It was co-produced by William Spaceman Peterson, Patterson rather, and features Jace the Great, Brother Haas and Supernova Slom and gentlemen, all of you, good morning. Good morning. good morning. Dr. Cosby, you write on the sleeve jacket of this CD. Please listen to the words. We worked very hard to tell you about the state of emergency. Thank you. Describe the state of emergency. We're trying to have people look at those particular areas of cities, uh, some called inner city. But then there are other parts uh, outside where people are not paying attention to the plus factors of if you abandon your child, you cause your child to think that he or she did something bad. And that when you leave your child up to being raised by someone else, that thinking too goes awry that people don't understand why they are, where they are, and so we've done lyrics to help them think, lyrics to help them listen and talk to each other to become better and have higher self-esteem and realize that life is just wonderful and you needn't look at it as a place that has no light for you, no help, and that's what this is about. It's about all those lofty messages, but listening to the CD, you hear some groovy music. I mean, maybe I'm using the wrong adjective, but it is powerful and it's strong and it's very much of today. You help write, I understand, many of these hip-hop tunes, and you, and you also perform in two of them. Well, how was Dr. I mean, listen to this. This is unlucky to hear it. William Spaceman Patterson, talk to me about, about the creative process to create, taking these lofty ideas and making them into something real that young people can not only hear, enjoy, but also learn from. Well, you know, all of us come from a, a lot of different musical backgrounds and we have experience in creating music that's contemporary, that's right now in, in any given situation. Um, when Dr. Cosby presented the concept of state of emergency, um, it wasn't too far away from what's going on and, and even from the way that he expresses himself. Jason Haas, you both are from uh, Newark, New Jersey, I understand, yeah, yeah. and Supa, you're from Brooklyn, New York. How has this, uh, these songs come from your own experience? You want to take it? Well, Jace the Great, I mean, coming from the city of Newark, a lot of the songs, like the one we just was played, um, Say For Your Heart, we live this, you know, so it's, 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 it's easy to come out, it, it feels good coming out and it's addressing our city. So we talking not, not just to our city, but to, to the world. But the passion is there because we walk through shoes, we live there, and we and, want to see a change. And Haas, you, you perform in something called Dad's Behind the Glass. Yes. Very powerful, very, yes. very powerful song. Yes. You, and this does this come from something you know about, something um, you heard Just about? from a lot of my friends not having their fathers. I grew up without a dad. But friends I have that was close to, you know, they grew up with their fathers that was imprisoned and they had to deal with, you know, growing up, growing up in the streets without a father figure. So it was a um, it was a very touchy topic and it was a very serious topic. And, you know, I really wanted to be that voice for them in this song to, to express their feelings towards their fathers. Now, I, I, I don't mean to bust you, Dr. Cosby, but, but Super, I got to ask you this. How was Dr. Cosby, who is not in himself of your age group, Good. How was he at writing these songs that were reaching out to the young people in this kind of groovy way? Well, one one incident I know that was a uh, finding that I remember in the studio. He called one day and he said, "Where's the parade?" <laughs> and we were like, we were like, we, you know, we were like, "Where's the parade?" He was saying, "We we need a parade to celebrate women in history right. who've done profound things that a lot of times go unnoticed, and we have to have a song that really captures that." So he started in space. 
Boom, black, black, boom, boom. And just started, you know, channeling the tones and the tones. And, and you know, giving us a charge. And so we took that vibe and we we, we, we was right with them because we recognized um, coming from where we come from, uh, women do need to be uplifted. And, and they are the backbone and they support us. So he just charged us up and we, we got it together, put it back out, and he was real inspired. It was beautiful. It, it is beautiful. Uh, where's the parade? And then they say, you know, calling women women out of their names. You don't call women out of their names. Then they start to throw out names of women who've done wonderful things in different areas and parts of, of, of life. And, and it, it, it made my face fuzzy. Well, you know what? You've done something wonderful, Dr. Bill Conte. Thank you yet again for enlightening us and, and also entertaining us at the same time. I recommend it. The album is called Bill Cosby Presents the Cosmorati State of Emergency. Bill Cosby, William Spaceman Patterson, uh, Jace the Great, Brother Haas, and Super Nova Song. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here this morning. And a parade for you for saying those names. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up next, who will be crowned the biggest loser on tonight's live finale? We'll have the breakdown of the competition coming up at first. This is today on NBC. Got your body, yo. <laughs> 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 your auntie, your grandma, 